Music Aboard Land from the other end of the world, Tim. Welcome in Germany. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, and again from the other end of the world, you've got an Ibanez guitar that you brought with you. Again. That is um, has your signature on it since NAM this year. Yes, it is, a THBB10. What is for you special about the guitar? Well, uh, from one, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, two, I'm, it's fucking beautiful. Just look at it. Um, I really wanted to go something like really classic, so obviously black and black. Uh, gold. Uh, you know, makes for a really classic thing. And then adding the the block inlays just made it even classier. So it ended up being a very very classy guitar. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm very happy with it. It plays like butter. Um, the the pickups are designed by Demarzio. Um, they're my signature pickups. Uh, I went with the mini humbuckers and the lipsticks. Just aesthetically, they're cute. Yeah. You know what I mean? Agreed. And, uh, <laughs> um, I mostly stay on this fourth position, so it's in between these two, and it gives me like a, a nice, like cleaner kind of like twangier tone, tone. single coil type sound. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the guitar. That's the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of an honor to have a signature guitar, Absolutely. which means you must have come on somebody's radar to catch you and say, well, he's a good guy for, for Ibanez in this case. Yeah. Um, in Music Aboard, we had um, a thread that was uh, trying to work out um, ideas how to be present in social media and all that stuff, how the musician part changed. I mean, it's not just being on stage anymore, it's being anywhere mm -hmm. all the time. So, how much did you do social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatsoever, to draw some attention? Um, in the early days, a lot. Uh, you know, like, and, and we tried really hard. We tried too hard. We were tryhards about it. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm a believer now that these days that... Um, If you're just genuinely good, yeah. you'll get discovered. You know, okay. like that's that's all you have to do. Like I remember, like we would, you know, I would like learn about like Facebook advertising back in the day yeah. and like all sorts of things. Do my research because like I really wanted this. Mm -hmm. And then once like we kind of got to the where where we are, like I realized that advertising is super mid, mm -hmm. and um, like anything that's mid needs advertising and uh, like. If you know, for those of you who are watching who do not know what mid is, mid is the worst thing you could ever be. Okay. It basically <laughs> means middle. You don't have a You're face. Mediocre. Yeah. There's you know, no, because no you could be personality and no face. You could be really, really, really good, or you could be really, really, really bad. Yeah. And that's both. Both of those are better than being mid, being mid because okay. at least if you're really, really, really bad, people are gonna fucking hate you. And yeah, but like they if, know you, but they're gonna know you <laughs> gonna exactly. Know, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I mean, you look at like the most hated people on earth, and like you know, they're doing just fine. They're, they're, you know they're what presidents. I mean? Uh, well, uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, without getting political, fucking no. um, yeah. <laughs> it was just an example. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck Donald Trump if we're gonna go on record with that shit. But um, yeah. You know, the, the worst thing that you could do is be mediocre. Yeah. And um, so you could be really good, you could be really bad. It's It needs to be something that, you know, like draws emotion out of someone. You know, because yeah. sometimes you go look at a painting, you know, a work of art or listen to a piece of music. Yeah. It doesn't make you feel anything. You, you don't care. You know, right. you stop caring and then you move on, right? right? Sometimes you listen to something and you absolutely love it. You fall in love with it and um, then you can't stop talking about it. Sometimes you listen to, or, or watch a movie that you just fucking hated. Yeah. You know, and you just you're just thinking But about it. Until everybody knows you hated it. Yeah. You're not stop you know. Yeah. About exactly. It. <laughs> you're just you're just on Facebook with the parents complaining. You know, yeah. like that's that's complain book is what we call that one. But <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, like the the thing is just being genuinely good. And with like social media these days, you look at guitar players um, on Instagram, and like so many of them are getting their start at Instagram, and and that's that's because. The ones that are like making it are dope as fuck. Mm. You know, there's really no like mid like guitar players yeah. that are like really making it on on the gram. You know, yeah. you know, and so I don't know. That's my two cents on that. So appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
musical voice that what you do kind of reflects that a little bit it's not in the mid it's kind of extreme yeah well that's right? that's the idea i mean even with this last single that we just put out it's called look but don't touch um it starts out really evil and heavy mm -hmm. and it just like right off the bat switches to this like very like major key uplifting yeah. like just <laughs> no transition okay like i mean the transitions there i worked very hard on it to like make it work yeah. but it is abrupt <laughs> it is abrupt um, and it and then it switches back to that evil hard shit, yeah. and then it goes into like another like smooth R and B R and B vibe, yeah. and then it, we bring a a, a a guest vocalist in for like the last thirty seconds of the song. Yeah. So really, it's like five different songs five in different one song. Um, polarizing songs. Exactly. That was the whole point was to polarize because right. like you either love it or you fucking hate it, <laughs> and that's yeah. <laughs> that's what we want. That's you know? again the target. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know. Beyond music, um, you're doing or you like um, fancy clothes? I do stuff like I, that. I, I'm very into fashion. I, I would one day like to be a designer. Okay. Um, you know, but right now I've spent all my time making music, making music, playing guitars. So you know. that's what um, that Daniel on told me that burning. yesterday. Instead of being at the bar, you had to do work. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I, lately I've been doing like a lot of um, like really high-profile studio work, uh, okay. just because like you know the things that we're doing or that like the, the music that I'm making, that Frog is going ham. Um, I've been working with like a lot of hip-hop producers, yeah. and some of them are some really, 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 really big-name producers yeah. that are like we we have plans to like. I have this sound mm -hmm. that um, is that pretty new. And it's like no one has it on okay. earth. Like it is completely my own, and like Which is every good again. time <laughs> I show it to someone, they shit. Okay. Um, so every like I go into I'm in the studio every day. Okay. I live in Los Angeles, yeah. so like I go to two or three sessions a day, and uh, especially when I go in with these like the the hip hop dudes, and I show them this particular sound that I'm talking about, they shit their pants. Yeah. Um, and uh, so lately, me and me and uh, my homie Rodney Jerkins, he's you know Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Destiny's Child, Lady yeah. Gaga, Justin Bieber. You know, I've been working with him a lot, and uh, like our plan is to take over the radio with that sound. Okay. Um, and to kind of like change the way mainstream music sounds, and okay. like you know, I'm I literally stay up every night to like 5 or 6 a.m. working on on stuff for this guy because you know the man's a fucking you know he's a legend he's, he's got legend, like 30 yeah. plus grammys you know okay. like you work with fucking like mariah carey and, and michael jackson and everybody yeah. like beyonce like you you know in my book that's some shit that's you know that's, worth uh, working worth for working you know for, yeah. putting time in yeah so in. i i ain't, if, i ain't be if, sleeping if, if these just, days if your you know? sound gets through your personal sound gets mm -hmm. through you can rule the world. That's the idea. <laughs> I mean, like, and you know, what's what's funny is that um, the sound that I I make it with is with this through this. Uh, it's with this plug-in company called Isotope, who like I just met yesterday. Yep. They're like right there. Mm -hmm. they are. Well, and uh, I showed it to them, mm -hmm. and they shit themselves. Okay. And uh, like we're gonna, they're gonna like have me in like with their like you know people to like kind of you know help with the, the yeah. stuff because like I I just they, they have some crazy good products oh it's in amazing cleaning up sound and anything, like anything anything you know I mean specifically what I've what I've been doing is fucking like you know using their vocal plugins on a guitar and just creating wild ass sounds with it you know <laughs> okay. just things that don't sounds that you just never heard have heard before so finally the guitar sings really sings it, it really with does with a vocal plugin mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true so yeah, just a lot of you know, a lot of studio work, um, and then of course, like I work on my own stuff all the time. So that's kind of been my life, consuming <laughs> stuff. So. so it's cool that you found the time to come over yeah. for the Tomon Gear Festival. Yeah. And um, I hope you enjoy your time and your chats with all the other YouTubers and Appreciate guys out it. there. Wish you luck for ruling the world with your, with your tone thank you and congratulations again to the beauty that is your signature guitar i appreciate that thank and you very thanks much thanks to ibanez to bring him in and to find him love him love ibanez shout out ibanez you guys made my life good Word. cheers all right peace and out thank you